Hi, my name is Marvin Polika, and this is uh, programming for Industry 4.0. Uh, this time we are working with Python, and uh, in this particular project, we're using the Scikit Python. Uh, the board you see below is a Playground Express, and uh, as you can see, there's two lights over there. The green solid state just indicates power, but the red one, the LED on pin 13, comes in the in the board. Uh, that one uh, had to be programmed to do that. So the assignment was to try and get it to blink twice, as you can see, and then hold solid for 3.5 seconds. All right, we saw that working. So let's look through the code. Um, I'm using mu to control it. And as you can see, it's slightly similar to Arduino IDE, but there's some variations here. So for this board, you have to import the modules for board digital IO on time. So you can be able to run it because one of the board access, uh, gives you access to the board itself. The digital I/O allows you to access their inputs and outputs, and the time allows you to manipulate time intervals within your code. And then uh, the first variable you assign is a uh, LED. As you can see, there's a couple of instructions beyond it. The first one is the uh, is a method for the digital I/O uh, from the library or the module, and then you the board dot thirteen creates it as a digital uh, digital in or out, but it's assigned it directly, directly to the board. This time we're using D13 for the red LED. And then uh, the direction determines whether you're de uh, designating that part, of the, the line above, whether it's going to be an output or an input. And this time we declared it to be an output. So uh, unlike Arduino ID, which gave you the setup side and the loop. Uh, this one you have to create it yourself. So to initiate that, just use a single line while true, because that condition will always be true. So the for forever loop will always have that condition. It will be the same as getting the main loop on the Arduino IDE side of it. So the first one is just LED value will be true, which means state one. And then we go for the time delay. In, in this case, we call uh, the method time. And uh, inside it, the, uh, you set the time, which will be one second. Unlike uh, Arduino IDE, which used um, milliseconds, this one uses seconds. And we balance one second on, one second off, one second on, one second off. And for the last one, we do the 3.5. So we can hold uh, the state as true for that long and then go back to turning it off. So there are quite a few similarities between the two and I'm looking forward to learning more about this as we proceed throughout this quarter. Uh, more information will be in the write-up. Thanks.